What's going on guys? This is Wes here. Uh, well, today we're going to do a short little clip. I just, uh, I just like this tool, man. Um, we're going to do a little quick video on uh, UAS tool. I know this is a pretty controversial uh, topic here since, you know, it's, it's a plugin. And plugins, as we all know, they're, uh, they're all locked up in, in jail behind the mysterious tack maps and all that good stuff but nonetheless this is a really cool deal uh and i i really like it i use it a lot uh it's pretty fun to use uh and it's a great capability um so hopefully uh before too long maybe uh maybe we'll uh we'll see uas2 uh making it down to you know the open source uh, kind of like public release realm. Uh, let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. Uh, but, hey, without further ado, let's go ahead and fire up ATAC. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fire up this thing. And uh, at the same time, we're going to go ahead and fire up our controller. So, by the way, I am using a DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, these, these, particular, uh, these particular platforms are uberly uh supported by this plugin uh not sure why but uh yeah uh, yeah the plugin supports uh almost every almost every single dgi platform out there with the exception of uh certain platforms like the dgi uh the mavic mini the man the the mavic mini is not supported and that's that's pretty sad because that's a really nifty little drone uh i don't know be nice to throw it in a little pocket and just pull it out and do whatever drone stuff you want to do uh but yeah uh all right so we're here in the app so if you look up there you'll see that i have that little drone icon so i'm gonna press that and uh here we are it's gonna give you some little crazy message so now we're gonna go ahead and turn in our drone turn it on and you'll hear some craziness there you go, you heard it. It's turned on. Alright, so once that's turned on, uh, yep, controller just picked it up. And boom, it's saying some crazy stuff, whatever, blah, 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 internal stretch, whatever is not supported, blah, 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 all that stupid stuff. Uh, this right here, boom. That is done, there it is. It says DJI Mavic Pro, that's my drone. Alright, so over here in this, in this main page, you'll see... Hey, this is the name of my, you know, that, that's the name of your drone. It will give you the model drone that you're flying. Uh, over to the right, you'll see, you'll see your signal levels. Uh, it'll, it'll tell you, uh, based on what the, uh, the controller is reading, uh, it'll tell you what your signal level is. Then next to it, that'll be your battery level. Um, and then over to the far right, you'll see the little play button. Let's go ahead and press that. And when we press that, boom. Here you go. We are looking at what the drone is looking at right now. Uh, and if you see, let me go ahead and move that thing around. You'll see the drone somewhere up there. Shouldn't be up there, but it's nonetheless, it's up there. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Uh, so, there's the drone. That's me. That's the other guy. And the drone. We're all there in the picture. Uh, and then you can go ahead and put this on. You can put this on full screen and just fly like this. Uh, as you can see, it has a little cool reticle in the middle and whatnot. Uh, pretty cool stuff. You get a lot of information right here on this screen. Super cool stuff. Uh, then, if we come over here, let's go ahead and maximize this. Uh, let's say that I want to start broadcasting. So. We're going to press right here that little button, and that's going to start broadcasting what I'm seeing. So we're going to come over here to the drone. We're going to tap, tap that. We're going to tap on the drone. And then we're going to go ahead and see what the drone is seeing. And... And then we'll start seeing what the drone is seeing, which is uh, it's pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, Take that to full screen, if it's possible. Uh, 
the screenshots. Oh, that's screenshots. Let me see. All right. So. Uh, yeah, that's that, man. Uh, there is the screen. Uh, so now your guy is seeing what uh, what the drone is seeing uh, right on the ground. Uh, keep in mind, I'm doing this over my Wi-Fi and whatnot and all that craziness. And the signal is not the greatest. Uh, also, the the stream the stream quality and rate that I have right now it's it's pretty low. I'm just I'm just reconfiguring this tablet and whatnot, doing a doing an upgrade. Uh, so nothing nothing on this tool is all configured the way it should. But if you want to get the best results, you move towards an RTSP server, and that'll that'll definitely get you the best uh, quality uh, video and all that good stuff that you want. Um, but as you see, you know, you got a, got a bunch of cool stuff here. Uh, so you see, um, what the drone is seeing right now, I'm being a little, uh, a little redundant here, but yeah, uh, you can, you can broadcast straight through the drone, um, through the ground control station into the, into the EUD. And then you can go ahead and broadcast over the internet through LAN. Uh, I've done this over VPN. Uh, it's mediocre to say the least. Uh, but like I said, the best the best bet is to go ahead and broadcast over uh, broadcast your uh, video feed over an RTSP server to get the best results. But yeah, man, uh, as you can see, it it, it works. It's pretty cool. Um, you can shoot up your drone, and if you have some, if you have good cell signal, uh, you can go ahead and start streaming your feed to a server. Point your feed towards the server, and then every other uh, client connected can uh, go ahead and pull that feed and see it on their EUDs out on the ground, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to do, man. I just wanted to show this real quick. I'm not trying to rub it up all up on no one's face. I'm just trying to show some cool stuff here. That's that I think is super awesome, man. I really think this is this is a super awesome tool. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, like I said, hopefully it makes it down to the uh, public release sector, and then you know we should start seeing a lot, a lot of this good stuff out there. Uh, but at this point, we're just hoping for the best. Um, and you know, we're talking about the government here. They they take years. To get some simple done so hey it is what it is man just hold tight and uh pray for the best but yeah that's it man that's uh uas tool uh pretty awesome stuff um figured i'd make a video because i i really like this tool it's super great uh but yeah uh thanks for watching